my name is Sasha, I'm a third year medical student and today I'm going to give you some advice from my personal experience to help you get into medical school. So one, you have to decide what year are you applying. Are you applying in your third year of medical school or your fourth year? Because if you're applying your third year, that means you're gonna try to go straight through. If you're fourth year, and that's something that I did, I took a gap year and then I applied and I can do a video separate for that. Make sure you make an appointment or a meeting with your advisor to schedule your prereq courses. So there are courses that you need to take in order to apply to medical school, in order to sit for an examination called the MCAT, which by the way, is one of the most difficult and challenging exams. And it's not really hard to tackle if you plan accordingly. I took the MCAT twice. The first time wasn't really great. And then the second time I took a Kaplan course and I practiced as many questions as I could and I did better the second time. As you go through college, make sure that your GPA is good. Try to aim for the best GPA that you can possibly attain. Um, I recommend trying to stay above a 3.5. If not, don't worry, there are other ways to strengthen your application. And of course, that's where your MCAT can come in and help you. If you boost your MCAT score, that can balance out your GPA. All right, now, I believe there's a formula to this. There's the clinical experience and there's the community service. So in clinical experience, you need to try to volunteer or shadow physician, be in an environment such as a hospital setting, a clinical setting. Now with pandemic and COVID, I know how difficult it might be. Maybe you're able to find someone that you can probably join telemedicine from home and see what it's like. As long as you can show medical schools that, hey, you know what? I've been in a clinical environment, I've been in a medical environment, I've seen what a physician does, and I've seen other healthcare team members and their positions and what they do, and I'm confident or I know the type of expectations I'm going to have in my career as I go forward. Community service, I think, is one of the most important things on your application. That's something that I invested so much into because it shows that you are a human, that you are compassionate, that you are able to serve the people around you, especially those disadvantaged communities. So if you can, find the time, find any opportunity in your community and serve and commit to it. It's better to stick to one thing and show that you are committed over a long period of time than do many small things here and there. That's just my personal opinion. These are the things that I think, if you have the time and your schedule allows you to, can help you. One of them is research. I did cellular biology. Pick a research subject maybe that benefits or interests you. And this is gonna be very helpful if you're applying to a research-based uh, medical school. On top of that, that would be your student-run organizations and clubs. I was able, with the help of my brother and my colleagues, we were able to create an organization and participate in pre-medical clubs. That shows that you are a team player. You like to be supported by people that are pursuing the same interests and so, it's, it was a really great experience. I really do recommend having that network, that support. It really motivates you to stay on top of your thing. Letters of recommendation. Don't wait till the last minute because a lot of professors and people, they have a lot on their plate, so they might not get you your letter on time. So as you go through college, if you find someone that knows you personally and can write something really nice about you, ask for those letters ahead of time. They truly make a big difference. Finally, I keep the best for last. What's gonna make your application unique is you. You're gonna make your application unique because of who you are as a person. Who are you? What made you into who you are today? What experiences have you gone through that other people didn't? Where did you grow up? Who's your family? What hobbies do you like? And so that, that's something that I think you need to self-reflect on and work on your personal statement and what led you to wanting to become a physician. And that's something only you can answer for yourself. I wish you the best of luck. If you have any questions, please let me know. Comment below. Like, subscribe, whatever you like. Follow me on Instagram. That's great. Good luck and take care.